And the last step here will be to start the subscription. So let me get the windows back in a way that looks a little better. There we go. So I've got the subscription I've created. Y you'll see that all these tables have a status of refresh. And this is the subscription that I just created, so everything's fresh. This status of refresh indicates that when the subscription starts, this the data from the source, the existing data from the source table is going to be replicated across and the target table is going to be populated with what the source has now and then it will continue to maintain the target table through mirroring. So CDC will first essentially grab a snapshot of the current data, populate the target and then maintain that through mirroring. This is something it only does the first time because it knows we just created this mapping. It understands the target table will be empty. You are you can do that refresh yourself as well using some other mechanisms. Often, certainly if you're doing a standard mapping and so that the target is really just a copy of the source, you might find that it's a lot easier just to, or quicker to use your own, um, you know, unload and load utilities. So that's certainly an option. But if but the easiest way certainly is for CDC just to push the data through. So that's what we're going to show here. So all I need to do is start mirroring. It's going to let me know that there are going to some tables that are going to be refreshed because that can take some time. Um, I will normally run it continuously, which means I'll just want to keep this running all the time and because I want the target to have the live data. I can also do a scheduled end. And so sometimes you want the target to end at a particular point. So I could say a scheduled end now, which means I want everything that's been committed on the source to make it to the target, but as soon as the target's got everything that's been committed up to the source, by the time I hit this OK button, stop. Or I can specify a specific date or time or even a log position to be have very fine grain control. And so this might be used, for example, if you want to have replication stop and leave your target in a known state, maybe while you're doing some analytics, and then you'll just start replication again and then won't we always know where we stopped and where we need to start up again. You never need to manage that. So if you do a schedule in now, and then an hour from now you start the subscription again, it will know where it left off and where it can continue from. So um, you never need to worry about that. The replication technology manages that. Um, but you can pick a scheduled end if you wanted to when you want the target to end up in a particular state. But you can do that as well even when it's running. So I'm just going to um, hit this continuous. And you'll see these tables switch from refresh to active as the refresh is finished. So it's actually sent all the data, the initial snapshot of the data. Now these tables are all being mirrored. I'll just quickly show you the monitoring tab as well here. And so it's showing for this, for this subscription, it's showing me, um, let me start collecting st the statistics. So it's showing me latency, so how current is the target, and what activity is occurring, how much mirroring is happening. Um, I'm not putting any changes into the source, so there isn't any mirroring happening. Um, you can also look at events that are occurring on this side, so if you want to understand what's... Um, I'll retrieve the events, let's say last 24 hours, and I can find out you know, that it started and, and things like that. Um, we also have a particular a performance tab as well. I, um, it, this is really for more fine-grained um, performance investigations. So if you find that that you need to do that, you can look at that tab, but I won't focus on that now. Um, so, and then if I want to, I can of course end this subscription and replication. Um, I can do the scheduled end, which is what I talked about before. And if I just want to otherwise end it, I can. Do, I have normal, immediate, and abort. It's the same sort of options you probably have seen with your database. You should use normal unless you have any s sort of strong reason not to. Normal ends in a way that means that we're making the right trade-off between ending relatively quickly and being able to start up quickly afterwards. Um, as you get towards immediate and abort, we're ending even more quickly but potentially at the expense of having a slower startup. Again the same sort of 
decision points you'll have when you're in, when you're choosing to tend your database. So that's it. Thanks.